What's Gucci, Nem gang, gang, gang? It's your boy here, the nemesis. My girl's over there freaking counting my money because that's how gangster I am. But that's not why we're here or what we're going to talk about right now. What we're here to talk about is that fantastic movie that has come out called Venom The Last Dance. I'll kill us all. There will be nothing left. Venom, the, last dance. the movie, depending on where you look at it online, is either not doing very good or is only doing really good in China. And it not doing very good is the camp that I fall on. Don't let people trick you and make you think that this was a good movie. This movie doesn't exactly even have a villain per se. It just has a looming threat that may never, and I'm saying this now, never come to fruition. Because we gotta look at the companies that we're dealing with right here. Sony hasn't come out with a hit since Into the Spider-Verse. And when is the last time one of those movies came out? Before I go into the movie, I'm going to talk about the director. For I don't believe she was the best fit. And I also don't think Tom Hardy should be a voice. He should just be the character. I don't think he should have any voice in the character. Especially if what went into the writing that he did is in this movie. Because... All these Venom movies suck. I don't care what anyone says. The first one was passable. As a nostalgia-ridden, like, early 2000s superhero movie. Alright, it would have fit in perfectly there. You know, you couldn't do the CGI that you can do nowadays, but it was still there. Then they did Let There Be Carnage, and that movie sucked. It sucked so much, you cannot find it on a streaming site. Disney refuses to even put it on their, on their crap, and... Well, I mean, all you gotta do is go to Disney Plus and you can see some of the some of the <laughs> best that are over there. So she's directed all three of these movies. You know what else she's directed? The 2021 remake of, Cru of Cruella and also Fifty Shades of Grey. What does Fifty Shades of Grey and Venom have in common? A friend of mine. Damn right. Motherfucking nothing. At all. And and looking that little factoid up of the movies and TV shows she's made, now it makes sense why Let There Be Carnage was such <laughs> Because it was it was riddled with that <laughs> love crap from Venom and, and Eddie Brock to freaking Shriek and Carnage. I, I should have seen it then. I should have looked it up then. But I was a fool and I did This movie did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Not have an actual, like, Spider-Man villain or a Marvel villain. Uh, well, I understand why they couldn't do another Marvel villain, but another Spider-Man villain. You could have threw someone. You could have threw the Scorpion in there. What the? Like literally, if it was the Scorpion versus Venom, where at one point maybe like the Scorpion's able to cut off a piece of Venom and it goes on to him, so it's Scorpion Venom versus regular Venom. That would have been fine. It would have been different, and it would, like, really, you should have had Spider-Man in that movie. It should have been the last movie, Spider-Man vs. Venom, all right? You literally could have just had it shoot from Venom's perspective. He went to the other, to the MCU for five minutes. Maybe he knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, all right? And you don't even have to show the actor's face. You could literally get a stunt guy and just have some somebody freaking voice him, probably the, the dude from the 90s TV show, just voice Spider-Man, and just have it from Eddie's perspective, fighting this random guy in a spider suit, like, that would have been better. But no, we have to go down the same damn line that we've gone down in the last two <laughs> movies. Symbio versus <laughs> Symbio, like it's some <laughs> spectacle, except we're gonna throw six <laughs> more in here, which is stupid, because they all have the same f***ing powers. Literally the only one, which I'm going to take the time to look it up, but the f***ing green one was the only one who had somewhat of a, at least a different f***ing, like, design. He was like a snake person who barely, who got shit on when he was actually f***ing released. And let's also talk about that. Patrick Mulligan, I'm pretty sure, and I am willing to be corrected on this, is toxin or was toxin in the comics until he died no no in this he ain't toxin because if we if we say toxin is in this then we gotta say that carnage is still alive because i hate to tell anybody that doesn't know but toxin is carnage's kid but who cares who gives you who cares this is just comic nerd
There's no other <laughs> people who make these movies look at it. They don't care. They don't give a <laughs> the <laughs> it is gonna throw no in there and just it's gonna go nowhere. I don't care what anyone says because unless they unless Amy Pascal and Abby Arrad fucking sell those mother <laughs> Spider Man movie rights. He ain't showing up in the MC you and anybody with a functional working brain can put two to two together because why the f would they throw Noel in there when they're focusing so much on Robert Downey Jr. Dr. Do like they f***ing threw out Kang because Jonathan Major decided to nope. his girlfriend so they're not doing that anymore why the f*** are they gonna do Noel like literally that is a 20 year f wait for that character, are you really willing to wait for a character who's going to take over a universe where nobody knows who he is, King Venom doesn't know what's going on, whatever this Codex bullshit that's going on won't make any sense, but this is where we're at. Once again, this movie was ass. And I honestly, honestly, if you are a Spider-Man fan, if you are a Venom fan, like, if, if you are a Marvel fan, and I'm talking about comic-wise, don't see this movie. Give it a bad rating. Show Sony that they need to sell these mother rights to somebody who's actually going to make maybe a good movie. And when I say maybe, I mean, all you got to do is look at the MCU. All they've had as a hit lately is Deadpool and Wolverine. I'll go to the grave on that one. Dead homies, cuz. You got me sweating bullets over here, Marvel, over Daredevil. Yeah, I'm gonna sit through every f***ing episode, but I'll be right here, making a goddamn another done goof, if you done goof. Because I'm not gonna f***ing lie. I used to not like Daredevil. And then the show came out. And guess what? I became a Daredevil fan. So I ain't gonna f***ing take any more Alright, I expect better. It's 2024. They, there have been directors who have proven that they can fucking make a good goddamn fucking comic book movie. Hell, fucking James Gunn is working on the DC Universe. He's going to make a Superman that probably everyone's going to love. We're going to see probably an influx of fucking Superman fans. And it's going to finally stop this whole, oh, Superman freaking the crappiest character because he can do anything. Alright? That's what I'm looking forward. Not this fucking Sony-based bullshit without Spider-Man, but we're going to make villain movies without Spider-Man. But it, it's still set in the universe of Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Choke me the fuck out. This movie is a 1 out of 10 on the Nemesis scale. I'm Nihilistic Nemesis. Peace!